Hey guys, so we're going to do a reading. We're going to check on Russia and Ukraine. I'm going to try to read from a couple different angles. You know, everything is obviously it's a disaster, of course. Um, but one of the things we'll kind of look at, you know, is anything going to come come to an end soon? Um, it, it, you know, are there good? We, we looked a little bit at talks. Are we getting there that we might be able to sit, you know, with Zelensky and Putin sit down and have a Zoom meeting or something? And we're going to kind of look at that. I looked at it before, but I'm going to kind of look at it again. I'm going to try to go a different angle, though, so I don't get, you know, goofy, conflicting information with my tarot. I have to be careful. Um, and then um, I definitely want to look at Katanji Brown-Jackson, Judge um, Katanji Brown-Jackson, you know, and see how these hearings are. She's probably going to get get in there and, and be um, a justice. But I still want to kind of look at, you know, some of the dynamics. What I do want to answer if she's going to make it. I did read um, the Amy Cody Brown um, a while back and everything. And then um, we'll go ahead and look at this if she will make it, of course, um, you know, and, and just kind of how everything, you know, I, I want to kind of look at how she's holding up and, and I feel she's doing a really good job, to be honest. Uh, I've, I've seen, um, I watched quite a bit of it. Um, not the whole thing, of course, because I can't sit there and watch for hours, but just um, look at, you know, Lindsey Graham, he just... <laughs> He just always makes a fool of himself. He's just so dramatic and everything and, you know, at all upset. And they're trying to make it out that she's soft on the, the child PO. You know, I, I, I got to be careful because of the algorithms, um, YouTube. Okay. Um, they're trying to say she's soft on, on uh, that, you know, the child. Okay. I, it, she explained it very well. And I feel she did a good job. To, so they could not try to pigeonhole her into being a softie on that. And you know, that, you know, when it comes to, you know, punishment and everything, you know, she has to go work within certain guidelines. And she did explain how things change, where back in the day, you would mail photo. That's what they did. They did it through the mail, right? But now with the internet, all you have to do is, like she was saying, one click and you could send somebody 30,000 photos or something. You know, you could send them somewhere where they can, you know, so things are different and it's like things need to kind of catch up, you know, with today's, you know, day and stuff. And so I, I don't think that, you know, I, I, they're just trying to make her, you know, what. and then I guess there was a thing they asked her to define woman and she said something about it's biological. I, I'm actually glad she gave that answer because I feel that that was, that's more loaded than you think. Okay, especially with a lot of things with trans women and that's been in the news and, and uh, various and women's roles and yada yada. Um, it, I, I'm glad she she didn't let them pull her in. But it's amazing how they try to pull you and trip you up and make you out to. And, and she's handling it very well. You know, and I like the way she explains certain things about the law when she has these certain um, legal questions and so forth. She explains it in a way that she's not totally treating them like they're children. She knows she has more knowledge of them about the law. She doesn't treat them like children when she explains it. But at the same time, she speaks it on a level that the people watching can understand what she's talking about. So they're not confused. So she doesn't try to talk over anyone's head, but she also does not try to talk below and, and make them to to feel stupid about themselves. So she's very respectful in that in that sense. I think she's doing a good job. Now she may think they are you know, she may have some strong opinions. You know, we don't know what she says, you know, when no one's looking. But, you know, for the most part, I feel she's handling these hearings, which can be very ugly and a lot of mudslinging and very dramatic. I feel she's handling them very, very well. And then Ted Cruz with his little books and stuff. I mean, it's just like, what are you doing here, guy? You know, and talking about all this. What does this have to do with being a justice on the Supreme Court? What does this have to do with the law? You know, and, and the job she's going to take on, nothing. I could see them asking her stance on abortion rights. I know that's a big thing. They do that to everybody. You know, so there was some questions on that as well. So let's go and look at that. We'll do the everyday enchantment tarot. So let's kind of focus on her, how the hearings are going. If she's going to make it, I, I she probably will. But let's kind of go ahead and see how they're feeling, how their publics are feeling, how she's doing, how she's holding up and everything. Maybe a little public persona, um, which I know, you know, um, people may vary, but, you know, she's, she's, um, real, she's handling herself very well. 
and stuff. She, this is probably one of the most, you know, just like, you know, Brett Kavanaugh, he broke down and he's very uh, emotional. And I can understand that and all that. But, you know, at the same time, she's very, she they don't break her. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with this. Very interesting. But yeah, you can watch a little, if you don't want to watch a big whole thing, you can watch little snips on um, YouTube, you know, some highlights. You know, just kind of funny seeing some of these old men kind of talk to her and, and everything like that. And, you know, how she, she explains stuff. But she, but yeah, that's what I, I like the way she does that. She's not trying to talk down to them like they're children. But she still makes it in a way that, you know, you or I looking at these um, things on TV can understand what she is saying with clarity. And you don't have to necessarily have to be a, uh, you know, a law school major here. Okay, let's focus. So I do appreciate that. Yeah, and she, of course she's very qualified. So they can't say she's not qualified. Yeah, like Amy, Amy Cody, I, I think she... She was qualified enough, but she didn't have as much as this lady does. Okay. She didn't have a whole lot of, uh, almost a whole lot of experience, but th this lady, Katanji Brown Jackson does. Almost there, guys. Okay. Let's see what we get here. Very interesting what Spirit wants to talk about here. Yeah, I see see the Nine of Pentacles card. I love this card. One of my favorite cards. I know this doesn't look like her, but this is her. This is this is a really good card for her. The Nine of Pentacles woman, notice she's reading a book here in this image. This fits very well. She's very, you know, this woman looks very educated. She's very focused, you know, on her book and everything. Still being able to eat dinner, but, you know, she's constantly educating herself. And the Nine of Pentacles woman is normally very confident, very accomplished. She has that self-love, that self-confidence, that sense of self-worth. She knows her worth. She knows her value, okay? And that's one of the things I love about the Nine of Pentacles woman and everything. So, you know, definitely her going in there and she's accomplished already so much. The Nine of Pentacles woman is normally very astute, normally a little bit older. She's accomplished so many different things. Really in a good place and a good position in life. But yeah, see that? She's reading that book, well-educated and everything like that. That is definitely her and so forth. And I feel this is, this is, hey, hey, in this picture, she's got a cat. I wonder if she has a cat. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I mean, and she's, but she's sitting there just notice, it, it, just notice in the picture how calm this lady is. She's not rattled. She's not stressed and everything. She's, she's in a good place. And so, so that's a, a very good fitting card to represent her. Nine of Pentacles woman, um, one of my favorite cards, a very good card for her. So then we want to look at the opposition. You know, what is the opposing card? And let's see here. We've got the, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. So we've got this kind of energy here. Um, this this makes me feel, you know, we got this kind of wild guy here. But I feel it's kind of the masculine energy, really. Okay, and notice this card is surrounded in red. You know, it is, you know, it is a fire. Okay, but it is surrounded in red and, and the Republicans are normally associated with the color red. Okay, but see, they're kind of, you know, they're, 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 uh, they're kind of coming at her with a lot of energy, you know, and trying to come at her with a lot of fire and kind of trip her up. But this is, this is kind of how they look. You know, this is, this is how Lindsey Graham looks when he's going at her and he's yelling at her about stuff. Okay, they're just, they're trying to fight her, you know, like, I mean, look at the difference here. You know, she's so calm and everything, Nine of Pentacles woman, educated, she's just very unmoved. And then they're just doing everything they can, you know, to kind of shake her, you know, to kind of shake her up and everything like that. You know, and it's just, so far it's not working. And so far it's not working. But yeah, they're, they're definitely going in for the kill. I mean, they're trying to, on, you know, anything they can, 
you know, a trained rattler. Oh, look at that, the strength card. The strength card. And I love this card. This is this is kind of a neat card because, see, you know, it kind of shows a woman in a wheelchair. She's got, like, a dog there, you know, that's kind of her guardian, her protector, and everything. This is, this is a woman overcoming the odds. Okay, that things that could have made it harder on her, and I'm sure she went up against opposition. You know, she's an African-American woman in this country, you know, trying to make it, you know, to the Supreme Court. This is not an easy road. Okay, I, I mean, I don't know if she necessarily set her sights on that as the end game, you know, but definitely, you know, accomplishing, you know, uh, against the odds and so forth. But she's got that strength and everything. She's a very strong woman and, and you know, educated and everything like that. There's a lot of power there, a lot of power. So no matter what, you know, what it took for her to get to where she is and work hard and everything she's accomplished so much, very proud. You should be very proud of herself for everything, just overcoming the odds. But that's a good, you know, she's got that fire and that energy there. But right here at the foundation, strength, everybody sits on it or everything sits on it. She's got that. So I'm not surprised to see the strength card in this read, of course. Well, we've got the Queen of Cups also popping up in here. You know, the Queen of Cups, so that shows that she's got empathy, okay, in her position, which is really good. You know, a sensitivity. And I feel people can relate to her. She has also been a mentor to people. See this woman? She's kind of sitting there with um, the young girl and everything. And, um, you know, being a mentor to others. You know, she has that on her record. And so that's really great. You know, it's not about just her getting to where she wants to be, but actually helping others get to where they can go. So being a mentor and people looking up to her, just like, you know, people looking up to her for advice and everything. She's got that and everything. And But showing that she's got some good empathy there is, is real important and stuff. Yep, and we've got the temperance card here. Look at the sides, you know, everybody's kind of, you know, battling it out and things like that, you know, of course. You know, they're going to do that. The Democrats, the Republicans, they're all kind of, she, and she's kind of being thrown in the middle here and everything like that. But she's kind of keeping, you know, just like say we have this woman in here, just kind of trying to, you know, balance between these two forces that don't like each other and everything. And just, okay, you know, let's talk, you know, let's, let's go ahead and have these hearings and everything. But I really feel the two sides kind of go like this. I feel that's the Democrat and Republicans, you know, because she's definitely not being like that. She's not being closed off whatsoever. Help. I love my decks. Justice. Justice. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. You know, that's her job and everything like that to make, you know, and notice that. What does it say? Justice. She's about to become a justice. So of course, I, I really feel she's going to make it. I don't, I don't think this is a problem here, you know, to become a justice on the Supreme Court. I feel she's got it and everything, but that's perfect to pull a justice card. No surprise to see that. But yeah, we've got the five of swords here, which can be the battle card. You know, it, it definitely, you know, unfortunately, you know, where these are supposed to be discussions, they, do, you know, they've turned into a battle and so forth. But so far, she's doing really good. You know, she's, she's handling it very well. And then we've got the four of pentacles next to that battle card and everything like that. You know, just the four of pentacles guy, he can be very calm, cold. You know, he can be kind of a little bit reserved and so forth. You know, she knows what to keep back, knows what information to get and everything, which is really good. And the three of coins, three of coins, which can be a teamwork card. And one of the things is when you look at what she goes on to the Supreme Court, that, you know, it's like a team. You know, it really is a team of justices. You try to work together to be able to rule on certain laws. So, yeah. You know, that's looking good that she's going to be able to do that. So the outcome is the Page of Cups. So Page of Cups is normally like to make some kind of an announcement. But look at the card. Um, This is a really sweet card here. You know what I, I feel it's kind of saying? I've got like this this little young girl person and she's got this I love you. You have to kind of look at it. She has an I love you sign. This makes me feel that a lot of people, even, you know, young ladies, no matter what color, are really looking up to this woman and they, they love they love her. 
you know, they love her and everything. And I feel the majority of people are feeling pretty good about her and everything. Um, with the justice card in the immediate future position, I do feel she will become a justice. Okay, so I do feel she's definitely going to make it. But I feel the majority, you know, um, especially women and things like that, seeing her in there, um, seeing her talking in these, um, in these hearings and so forth, having these discussions, I feel they're pretty pleased with with how it's going, with how she's handling it. But the Page of Cups especially, um, I feel people, you know, just there's there's affection there for her, um, I guess you could say. So I feel that's very positive. So I do feel she will get it. She'll be working as a team with the Three of Pentacles there, um, popping up in there. She's got that strength, you know, she's got that strength and everything. Um, but yeah, she's, uh, but yeah, it's kind of funny, the Knight of Wands, it's got that aggressive looking motorcycle guy. It's, you know, just like they're trying to come at her in, in various aggressive ways and, and try to rattle her and everything. And they're the ones that look rattled. She's not rattled. Okay, and we've got the lady card for Lenormand. Of course, she is the lady. No surprise there. We've got the ship, and we've also got the suffering card. So, um, a cross weave was pain, historically sad. A distance too close, mean tidings are bad. Suffering increases when the cross is nearer, but burdens can lift if, if you persevere. I feel kind of the cross and suffering kind of symbol here. Um, it's definitely, you know, African American. It's definitely um, when it's come to getting into positions like these. Um, there's been a lot of suffering. So for her, especially to become the first African American woman um, to be able to become a justice on the Supreme Court, this is this is big and this is really huge um, for definitely what people have gone through and everything like that. But I've got that stork also here. A stork of rage heals change. Okay, so change is coming and stuff. Progress heals pain drawn from the past. So, see, I love this because we talked about the past suffering. Okay, African-American. But progress heals pain drawn from the past. The more African-Americans can progress in society as she is progressing. You know, and this is a big lift for so many. You know, embrace kindness and new friendships will last. There could be some healing you know, getting in there. So this is very positive. So I, I really like this. Um, becoming a justice, it's a no-brainer. Um, I feel she's got it. I don't feel they could stop her. Um, and every it, uh, the vote should go good. Obviously, um, if there's any kind of issue, there's the tiebreaker and all that good stuff. She's got it. Um, but it looks real good. I, I feel she's done a good job handling, you know, some very tough stuff there. You know, definitely handling some tough stuff. But I feel she's got that still very logical she's she's got a good balance of the right and left brain and they're you know very logical intelligent knowledgeable about the law and everything just can you know cite stuff real easily i said but still the empathy is there you can tell the empathy is there being a mentor to others and everything very positive very positive stuff so that looks really really good okay so this is what we're going to kind of do I'm going to look at a few angles here. I'm going to try not to pull too many cards um, because I want to look at a few different things here. What we're going to try to do is get in the headspace. I want to get in the headspace of Zelensky, how he's kind of feeling right now. Then we're going to look at the headspace of Putin. Oh, that'll be fun. I see kind of where he's feeling right now. And then I also kind of wanted, um, a, you know, kind of focus, you know, is there any kind of meeting of the minds going to come here? possible withdrawal can some of this come to an end soon or are we going to look at more months and months of drama okay so that's what we're going to kind of look at uh, but it's definitely you know we uh, Putin like want you know getting him to pull out quit you know that's 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 a hard one so far in my reads it's just like he doesn't want to do that you know he doesn't want to admit any kind of defeat you know things like that it's like come on man you've done enough damage okay you've done enough damage just you know Okay, so let's go ahead and focus on that. Here we go. So now we're going to focus on Zelensky. Zelensky. So let's get his energy in here. See how he's been feeling. Poor man's got to be exhausted.
and he's really become a hero. You know, a symbol. And it's real amazing. Okay. Because not all political people can, can be looked at that way very often. Okay. Let me pull, I'm going to pull the bottom card before I go into that. So, I'm going to say Zelensky does show good Knight of Wands here. Um, in the sense, he's, you know, he just got a lot of energy, a lot of stamina. He's ready to fight. He's ready to see this through to the end, whatever he's got to do. And so, the opposing card is completion. He just wants it to come to an end. You know, just what do we got to do to finish this? Stop this. I just want this to come to the end. This is the hard part. This is the hard part. You know, trying to get some kind of control in the sense that we just want this to end. You know, so we can, you know, whatever we got to do, rebuild Ukraine, get life back to normal. It'll never be normal again, though, after this, of course. Um, things like that. So we'll got to look at that. But I do have the star, the light at the end of the tunnel. There is hope, you know, and I, I, I feel that's really him trying to keep hope alive. Um, I feel he, they're, they're, he is a spiritual person. I'm really, you know, praying to God and so forth. Just keeping the, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel here. He's very hopeful. You know, he's really trying to keep that and not let that shatter. He's doing his best not to go into a hopeless kind of position. But I do got the game card. I feel so many ways, no matter what happens with Ukraine, you know, there is there is still something that has been gained. You know, uh, uh, definitely the love you know, that has, has come from Ukraine. And this is actually um, Venus and Virgo. And, you know, <clears throat> so there is that just that love for Ukraine, the Ukrainian people and him. That, you know, he has gained that, the love and support of the people around the world, I feel is, is one thing he has done. I do have the defeat card um, that is popping up there. And um, let me go ahead and look at that. You know, I and I feel, you know, there's, no matter what, I, I almost kind of look at both have defeats on each other side. But we've got that debauch, you know, the debauch card, you know, everything with Putin, just everything the way it's going. It's just so soiled and, and terrible and everything. So, yeah, I mean, he's definitely going to take heavy losses and defeats on this um, is, is what it's looking like. I feel he's aware of that. I feel the Prince of Wands uh, really represents, you know, the Ukrainian men um, that are, you know, getting out there, going to fight. And he's trying to be very supportive of that, you know, and positive. And then the Fool, you know, just like um, that is that, you know, taking a leap of faith and so forth. I really feel he has a lot of faith and everything. But he's trying to make the right decisions here, you know, to the best of his ability. He's got a lot on his plate and everything. But let's kind of look at there. But I love this. In his position is the Eon. The Eon, that is the resurrection card, you know, which which is, is very fitting. So there that does give me some hope that Ukraine can kind of rebuild itself and everything like that. But I've got that resurrection. And the three of cups is in the environment, you know, so there's there's still he's he's still got some victories, um, some things that he can celebrate about. Um so far they have not taken Kivi um and things like that. You know, there there's still some some little bits of victories um, that are kind of mixed in with with some defeats. The end card is the works card, um, which can be very much um, a teamwork card and things like that. You know, trying maybe to work together, you know, with other nations and things like that to hopefully that's what he's trying to do is to bring others together to kind of help him. Maybe try to bring this to a close. But one of the things he does want to avoid in this this card, you know, we want to avoid World War III. Of course, this is one, two, three. Okay, he, he wants to avoid that. To try to kind of bring everybody together so we can avoid that, you know, is what he's trying to do. So that's kind of, you know, there's a lot of energy there. He's definitely gained a lot of love and support of people around the world. You know, people are donating money, trying to help. He's trying to be optimistic with that star card here. And, you know, trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know, the bigger picture. But I do like the fact the Eon card, the ability, the resurrection card here that, you know, he that's what he's looking at. He's really aiming at bringing this to an end and then let's, you know, rebuild and everything. And he really believes that Ukraine can rebuild itself. So that's kind of where his his mental mindset is, is right now at the moment. 
So then let's, oh, the foot's falling asleep. I got to stop sitting like that on here. I'm just going to get uncomfortable. Okay, so now we're going to look at Putin. But yeah, it's definitely, you know, there are some defeats there. You know, the mirror pole has been taken and, you know, that one's not doing good at all. Let's see where Putin's feeling. Is he feeling the crunch of the sanctions? Oh, my foot's asleep. Shoot. Okay. All right. Putin, what are we looking at here? Yeah. No surprise on that one. Let's just lay them all out. Kind of see what we've got here. Oh. Yes, yes. I shall put that there. Oh, that's very interesting. There's a lot of queen energy in this, which is very interesting. How would I interpret that? Let me get a clarifier on that one because that one's kind of difficult. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So let's kind of look at it. So the very first card is the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant, obviously, uh, very spiritual, you know, very divine, and, and can have to do. Um, definitely with, um, you know, morals, values, and, and things like that. Now, I feel that this card is showing um, that I, I feel like spirit is, is kind of trying to tell me here, you know, and, and kind of trying to say, you know, to, to people as I'm kind of reading this, you know, just remember spirit's really the one in charge and, you know, over this and, and everything like that, you know, that they're, you know, the main thing. But this is this is an area that I feel like spirit is hoping that somehow he would kind of awaken, you know, in some way, shape or form, you know, some kind of capacity to have, you know, some kind of connection to spirit and some kind of, you know, heart to kind of stop doing this. And everything but you know it's very um challenging we do have the hangman okay which is um the opposing card everything's kind of suspended a few things i kind of feel from that and especially on a deeper level you know is um i do feel spirit you know and, and looking at the hierophant especially popping up in there you know i do feel the spirit trying to keep a lot of things back that he would like to progress forward and I almost feel if he goes too far, progresses forward, it's it's just there should be some heavy duty repercussions here and so forth that he he is not, you know, doesn't understand and so forth that that's going to happen. At the foundation is death. This is the, the big thing, you know, and, and notice right next to it is the cruelty card. You know, this this is definitely, you know, the way he is and so forth. It's all about the card here dominion you know trying to get dominion over the ukraine and everything like that but the dominion card um very often shows um the two of wands shows the man holding the globe looking over the water and everything exploring the possibilities and that really makes me feel just him you know he's just got this kind of way of just like looking at that globe and lands and what is mine and what is this and He's got all these goals to like do certain things, taking certain lands and, and everything dominating and stuff. He wants dominion here to dominate and stuff. And then we've got the three of club, the cups. I actually feel 
um, the Three Cups, which can be celebration card and so forth. Um, I feel like he feels he's doing a good job. And so even though we would see a lot of setbacks with the finances and this and that, I feel he's not very deterred. I feel um, he feels, he, you know, that everything, you know, that, that he's got the upper hand. So I don't feel um, he, he, uh, he doesn't feel intimidated to me. I feel like um, he feels he has the upper hand. Um, in his position is the magician, which makes me feel um, sometimes it can mean for me that he has a few tricks up his sleeve. He's not necessarily showing his hand here. He's got more stuff going on in there. My concern, which I'm about to do a reading on, um, which started to come to me, is um, the love card, the two of cups card. This makes me feel one of the things he's going to try to bring in some allies. A little concerned with China. I'm going to look at that separately in a moment here. Um, I want to look at also how Biden um, and the China talks with um, Z was affected. I saw his hopes and fears. Definitely the whole position is to be victorious. Now, the end card is the Queen of Cups and the Prince of Cups. It's kind of popping up in here. So, um, one of the things that kind of makes me feel when I kind of tuned into that Queen of Cups energy, which is really the caring and the empathy, the, you know, softness and, and everything like that. And this actually kind of makes me feel the people of Russia, you know, kind of represent, you know, the women and the men um, that, you know, they're the, I, I feel like a lot of them, well, they're very shielded and there are some that don't know exactly what's going on. But I feel though that for those that kind of do um, that, you know, there's, they have a soft spot for what's going on. People of Ukraine, they do not like what's going on. And I, and I feel that is an area that is a challenge for him. He wants the support of his people. And there are people that obviously people have been protesting and there's things going on with that and everything. And they're being impacted. Um, they're being impacted in, in very strong and negative ways. A lot of people pulling out the money and this and that. But so far, when I tune into his, his mindset here, okay, he, um, you know, I definitely feel spirits trying to hold things back here. Okay, for whatever reason and, and however, and that's great. That's what we want. We don't want a World War Three and all that stuff. But um, I, I definitely feel that, um, you know, that he wants that dominion. There's there's a lot more than Ukraine that he wants. I'm going to tell you that right now. It, it's stuff like that. But, it, you know, um, I, I feel he kind of knows that, you know, that, that would be very hard and everything. But he still wants it. And so it, everything is all about that. Everything. You, Ukraine just feels the beginning to me. Okay. So that's a little bit where I'm kind of. Where I kind of at, but yeah, death and cruelty sitting side by side each other. He doesn't care, you know. Just as long as he gets what he wants, it's it's a very sad thing. So now we're going to kind of focus. Let's let's look at that as I've got that two of cups popping up in there, and I was kind of thinking about that. What about Russia and China? Um, some people are wondering, will China possibly help? Um, I don't. I I can't see them um fighting, um, but would they you know help with some kind of finances or? Um, something like that. Let's go ahead and look at that. And I know um, Biden had a talk. We're going to look at that, see if that pops up. Um, had a talk with China. Did it have any impact? Because, you know, Biden's like, stay out of it. Okay. I'll try to give it some warning. That's where it could get real ugly. So let's kind of go ahead and see where that is all going. But I do look at that. I that that is a concern if they united in some way, China, Russia, of course. You know, working together. That's a lot of people's fear. Let's see, how does China feel about it? Have they been talking? Ooh, God can't get together. Okay, let's go ahead and see right there.
Well, I do get the completion card just kind of popping up in here. This kind of actually makes me feel China. Um, I, I feel like they just want this to kind of come to a dead. They're not liking this necessarily. We've got the strife card that's in there with the conflict and everything like that. But would they jump in? I remember the Nine of Wands is Zelensky's card. Okay, it's been kind of popping up in that. But I've got that Hermit card sitting next to um, Zelensky here, um, which kind of makes me feel um, China, their leader, um, kind of uh, keeping withdrawn. You know, the Hermit kind of withdraws, okay, from everything. Uh, so first, so that kind of makes me feel the, the leader of China, Z, that he's just kind of being a Hermit. He's keeping withdrawn and everything like that so far. Well, we've got that Seven of Cups. But, you know, that lust for power there, you know, they, they both, Putin and, and them, have that. But I've got that disappointment card. Um, I feel they're kind of seeing some of, there's still some heavy failures of Russia. Uh, they're kind of looking at that. But I do got that temperance card there above, uh, which is, you know, I, I feel like China is kind of observing everything. They're trying to be very patient because obviously they wanted things they wanted. They eventually want Taiwan. But I've got the futility card um, that is popping up in there. And sometimes when I see that futility card, um, that could be a symbol that maybe they kind of know that um, they, they're maybe listening to how that conversation went with Biden. Because one of the things they're kind of looking at is if they started helping this and that. There's all the NATO. There's the U.S. There's this. It'd be a big mess, right? Let's go ahead and look at that. So their position is the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So I kind of feel, I feel they're more concerned just, you know, with their own interests and things like that at this moment. And I, I actually feel at the moment, they, you know, especially looking at that Hermit, um, the leaders just really withdrawing from all this, trying to stay out of it, is kind of how I feel. Um, that, you know, they have their own kind of plans and things for themselves. So I, it kind of makes me feel leader of China, one doesn't want to do anything helping another that could jeopardize his own um, plans, you know, and, and things like that. I feel is, is kind, of, kind of where I'm at here. And looking at the futility card, if there was any kind of help or assistance, certain things would be very futile. Um, and I feel they kind of know that, that what's in it for them is not very positive. Um, so I don't actually, ending with the Fool card, I, I feel they're kind of thinking to themselves, the leader, you know, with the people of China, that it would be actually foolish to be able to aid Russia at this time, that it wouldn't be very helpful. But I feel they were in communication. I've got the letter. And they are in communication. Very interesting. About the son and the dog, the dog can be about loyalty. So I feel they do um, have some kind of loyalty to, uh, to each other in some way, okay? But I do have the mice is the other card. The robber mice take your treasure inside the house. They steal with pleasure. Hope's not for gone when this card is near. Once the mice are gone, you will regain what is dear, okay? Once the mice are gone, you will regain what is dear, so this kind of makes me feel a few things. I know one of the things is China's wanting Taiwan. That's their goal. Okay. But they feel this would be very bad timing with everything that's going on right now. This would not be the time. So they're not doing that now. And that's what I kind of feel. Once the mice are gone, you regain what is dear. So I do feel that is a little scary. That they could actually possibly take Taiwan on a later date. Okay, I do feel that inevitably is going to get sparked. 
but I feel like they're waiting for this to settle down or stop before they make that move. So I feel just kind of looking at it, I feel they're more interested in that than helping Russia. That's kind of their thing. That's that's what they they want. And they're kind of bugging, you know, and making Taiwan kind of nervous. So kind of looking at that mice card and what it's saying there. I feel that they don't want to do anything that would jeopardize even their own plans and their own ambitions, you know, of them holding the globe and looking out what can I do and so forth and everything. And then the three of wands in their position. Now, in the three of wands, very often depicted, that is another one that kind of, you know, the ship comes in, moment arrives, this, that. And the person knows where they're going. They got this kind of Moses garb on. Um, if you ever look at the three of wands for those who know tarot. Um, but one of the things, what, what is, what did Moses want? He wanted the promised land and all that. And for some reason, whatever, you know, China is very focused on that little tiny, uh, Thailand, that their own little promised land. So I feel they're more focused on their own goals and everything. And so, um, looking at the futility card, couple things here. One, I feel it's not necessarily their best interest to help. It could actually make things worse and mess up their own plans. And then also, but if they did start doing stuff, yeah, I, I feel, I, I do feel they were actually listening to Biden and, and, and NATO that getting involved um, in, in kind of Russia kind of stuff um, would actually hurt them, would actually hurt them. And I actually kind of feel with that just put me card, they're not real happy about everything that's going on. Um, they feel, I, I feel they kind of think it's a little messy, uh, stuff like that. You know, they're just, they're just not, you know, really for it and everything like that. So, some very interesting cards. I do hope this helps. Any questions, uh, just go ahead and put them in the comments. Love to see what your feedback.